My name's Tim Thurston, I'm from Team I, and I'm talking with Jamie Martin of Correct Careers Coaching. This is the next in our series of podcasts around topics that we hope will help the local business community. Today we're going to be talking about staff engagement and well-being. Jamie, this is a very important topic, particularly in the current coronavirus period. Yes, Tim. I mean, engagement has always been an integ integral topic uh, within in a company, in the culture of a business. Um, I mean, there are some interesting uh, figures out there. You know, recently, um, you've got um, the average loyalty span of a millennial is only around seven months at this point in time. And that's actually really worrying statistics. And a lot of that reason is because of culture, engagement, um, the type of, you know, business they're in for themselves and you will find a, quite a bit of turnover. Uh, Deloitte actually said that employment culture is number one uh, on the list of uh, what's needed in the business and the Gallup survey last year in November um, explains that 85% of the workforce are actually not engaged and that's 34% of salary being wasted. So I think those statistics speak volume anyways um, but now more importantly during social isolation uh, that it's really important for businesses to engage even more so with the team because they're not in an organization they're not in a business they're not working the the usual that way they were so how is a company going to look after their team and engage with them uh, by remote working and that's something that businesses really need to have a have a strategy in place for otherwise if you feel that um, employees are going to be even more or less engaged during this time during reintegration then there may be you know quite a serious amount of um turnover within the businesses afterwards. So yeah, it's, it's an integral topic, Tim. Um, what's your thoughts on, you know, engagement and uh, at this point in time and, and what businesses should be doing with regard to it? Yeah, so it's a topic that is very relevant all the time, isn't it? And it's amplified at the moment because of um, thinking about kind of the well-being aspect more. Mm. But putting that to one side, as you've just said, with the um, statistics you've quoted there, Engagement is, is a twofold thing. It's about an employee feeling part of the organisation and, and motivated and wanting to do well. And of course, on the other side of that coin is the organisation's perspective on it. And if they've got a disengaged workforce, mm. uh, then as you say, they're wasting money and they're not uh, being as efficient and as productive as they, as they could be. Mm. And also when it comes to recruiting, if they've got a reputation for a disengaged workforce, then it, it makes it uh, much harder for them to, to recruit. So I think it's kind of an all year round topic. How would you describe engagement, Jamie? I think engagement needs to be, yeah, it is from both sides, uh, the, the employee and the, uh, the actual business itself. But engagement is really, if, if an employee is, is happy in the workplace, um, and they feel valued, they feel their opinion matters. I think it really boils down to purpose. If an individual has purpose within their job, they naturally are happier. Uh, they, they naturally want to put the extra efforts in, go the extra mile, shall we say, um, to, to perform. And I feel like they are part of a business which is forward thinking, uh, brought in with the same vision and values of the company um, and actually you know really enjoy their work and I think to be engaged it's not only just about you know do they have the resources do they know what they're doing or those although they are really important factors within the business it's the communication within the team you know are they are they receiving the, the same type of messages from the top do they want to be on board with the same journey the business is going on um, and I think I think it's really important that you know an employee needs to also feel other elements of engagement which we can talk about through this uh, for them to really want to stay with the business for the longevity yeah no I, I totally agree and I think um, you know you've, you've raised some really salient points there the first thing is that uh, they understand what the organization is trying to achieve they understand the purpose and they feel part of that purpose they know how their job is contributing to achieving that purpose and they moreover understand why they're doing what they're doing um, not just to deliver the purpose, but also their impact upon colleagues and their colleagues' impact upon them. That is a real key aspect of, of engagement. If not, then an individual just plow, is playing their own furrow. They're just mechanically doing their role, not really sure if it's contributing, not really sure the impact on others. And I just don't see how anybody could possibly be engaged unless they understand those wider picture aspects. The other point that I want to make from what you said earlier is, is, a, is about people's opinions counting and I think that's absolutely vital. I do think there's a time and place for that so as, as someone joins an organisation and, um, and is learning their role um, then their opinion is, is limited in terms of, of how they can 
uh, take the business forward, develop their role. They need to understand their role first. They need to be engaged. I think this is a kind of a, a catch-22 in a way. You need to be engaged for your opinion to really count, but to be engaged, your opinion needs to count. So I think it's a very much a two-way street there where organisations and management need to work with employees to make sure that employees understand how they can contribute to the organisation and how their opinion can be valued. Yeah, that's, that's a, a fantastic point. And I don't think that might happen, you know, straight away within the business. I think there, there needs to be, I think one of the main elements of engagement, um, and it's great to raise, you know, during this discussion is, is trust. That's got to be from both sides. The employer needs to be able to trust the employee, um, especially now during, you know, remote, remote working more so. And, um, you know, for them to actually believe that they, they will do the job to the their capability work their hours um, but also not not micromanage you know a lot of people don't like micromanage they, they need to feel that they are trusted uh, and empowered uh, to do the job and I think and vice versa that the the employee needs to have trust in their employer that they they do have their best interests at heart they are invested within and then if, if those two elements do help you know consistently throughout the time um, of employment then the naturally both parties will, will help with the opinion and will make those opinions uh, not just be talked about but also action as well. Um, so I feel uh, trust is an absolute vital part of engagement. Um, the other part I would probably like to mention is that you know an employee needs to feel uh, appreciated so um, praise and recognition now I think is absolutely important you know it is remote work to, remote working uh, employees have had to cope with quite a various um, amount of um, situations that they they haven't been taught to do within a business so they are using their own initiative and capabilities so you know it, I, you know a, a point to take away from this our businesses really you know generally show an appreciation making the uh, employees feel empowered um, and appreciate right now for them to maintain engagement during this time to help with the reintegration yeah it's very very good point the interesting thing around appreciation for me is that yes praise and recognition is important um, it needs to be genuine it needs to be a appropriate so people need to uh, um, have achieved something to get praise and recognition or contributed but I think there's another strand to um, to, to making people feel appreciated and that is that and that is developing them so that's making sure they learn new skills going back to that point about feeling they're contributing and their their opinion counts and actually stretching people and improving them as individuals both technically um, within a particular work role and also in terms of personal skills I think is, is another example of appreciation and individuals that have been developed certainly in my career where I've been able to develop people that I've worked with um, that really did enhance um, their engagement and I think that that's the thing they appreciated more from me it was it was more important to them at the end of the day than maybe a promotion or maybe a pay rise or or a bonus the fact that they had developed as individuals which of course allowed them to develop within their career yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, same same in my career in a previous recruitment role I was in. I had a lot of training and development. I felt invested within, and that naturally made me more engaged and and stable within the business. And I think if you feel that from the top approach, then uh, you know your managers, then you are naturally you know going to be more engaged and and, and want to continue. Uh, you know, making your opinions feel calm, making sure that you are inputting in the business because you, you naturally want that business to grow organically and 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 do very well because you're being a part of a team, shall we say? Absolutely. Is there anything else in the short time we've got today, Jamie, that you'd like to cover in terms of uh, engagement? Yeah, I think, you know, we'll probably leave, you know, a couple of top tips um, away for employees now because there's a various uh, amount of areas, uh, you know, businesses need to really focus on with engagement at present. I think the first thing is, like you said, development and investment. But investment at this point in time could be technology. So, we, you know, individuals are given the trust of now working from home, you know, because, because we are in that situation. But they might actually need technology to help them do their job efficiently and effectively for them to still feel highly engaged. Um, so the employer really needs to invest in various amounts amounts of technology for them to be able to do that but also train and develop them to show them how to use it um, another part of it is is to maybe still have conversations with em employees about their future with the business um, talking about okay so what what will we do next uh, what will happen when reintegration comes if those types of conversations are having right now with the employees then they are going to feel that what they are doing still matters uh, they are going to be uh, stable moving forward and and they will continue to you know put put in their efforts and engagement during this time, which is, you know, very unusual times for them. 
Um, a couple of other top tips uh, I'll, I'll finish with is um, I think one thing for um, employers to do now more than ever is actually make sure they are sending out surveys or, or feedback opinion polls, shall we say. Make sure they are receiving a lot of engagement back from employees uh, during this time, you know, because if there's any issues that employees are uh, unable to cope with or unhappy with the employer needs to action upon these now uh, to help during this social isolation stage um, so for the um, um employee to still feel engaged and that you know not have any negative impact during this time so there are various different ways they can do that whether it, it's weekly conference calls uh, or you know an actual anonymized survey you know to get this actual uh, proper feedback uh, accurate feedback back um, and actually a nice another nice top tip is I think you know we are going through a stage where we don't know how long this is going to last for but we need to keep everyone engaged and happy and forward thinking so maybe for the employer to actually start arranging a social event with the um, with the team and that might not be you know going out and about right now but you know at the end of the year a Christmas party if they're talking about what they're going to do moving forward and the team are interacting and they're getting excited about something it naturally bonds the team together make them feel engaged and, and valued in, in, in their thoughts um, and something to, to work towards moving forward so those are probably a couple of areas I think to help with engagement at this point in time uh, it is an unsettling time and, and you know more importantly to re retain staff the employer needs to focus on are they first of all communicating trusting the employees and 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 you know their opinions and values are heard and matter um so they will be more engaged during this time that's great thanks jamie thanks Tim.